Uh, so today's video should be quite interesting. Um, I haven't seen any other uh, mining YouTubers do this, but I have purchased myself a mini PC with uh, quite a powerful CPU in it. It's got the uh, Ryzen 7 5800H in it. And uh, I just wanted to see how it does. Um, yeah, and it's way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Like, this is it next to a, a monster can. Like, it is, it is quite small. And they actually sent me the wrong one. They actually, like, I ordered the 16 gigabyte with the R7 uh, 5800H, but they sent me the one with 32 gigabytes of RAM and it's gray instead of black. So I got a better one, but, but you know, let's see. Yeah, um, let's go into the first boot of Windows and I'm just gonna do some mining on Windows test first and we'll see what kind of performance we get out of this. Okay, for some reason, and, um, CC Miner just on, you know, basic Windows doesn't work. So we're gonna go straight into Hive OS then, and uh, we'll go from there. And yeah, thank you, Autofocus. Thank you. So I just wanted to show CC Miner on Windows, but that didn't work. So I'm gonna just go, I'm just gonna go straight into Hive OS. So I got Hive OS working no problem, and I'm just about to uh, launch um, the SRB miner of what I normally use. So let's see what happens here. So I launched config there, and I'm hoping it just does stuff here. So I'm kind of getting what I expected, like 17 mega hash uh, for this, um, and like all my all my cores are running pretty freaking hot. So I might do some Frankensteining, but right now I'm going to take out the NVMV uh, from the B link, and I'm going to flash Hive OS on it. I just wanted to try Hive OS on the USB and see if it works. And then I can just have this as, you know, something that sits in another room. I might like Frankenstein it and uh, turn it into something. So, yeah. So currently I am flashing uh, Hive OS onto the uh, NVMe drive. So I completely wiped out Windows, which is probably very stupid of me. But I kind of want to just keep this thing around and uh, do some experiments on it. I wanted to like get it bare bones and maybe put my own cooler on there. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'll show it running with, or if it does run with that uh, NVMe installed. Oh, I'll show you. This is the inner guts. It's uh, it's very, very easy to take apart. I just wanted, to, I just don't know how to get this motherboard out from under here. So that'll be my next task at a later date. But for right now, we're good. We're, we'll run it the way it is. Uh, so I've success, successfully uh, flashed uh, HiveOS onto this NVMV drive. I know I should have just kept Windows on it, but I would like to do more experiments later in the future with this this uh, little unit. And yeah, I just I don't know having having Hive OS on an MMV is just it's just I don't know it, it it's safer. So yeah, let's get the first boot up with the NMV NMV and. Okay, this is the first boot up with N NVMV. And I'm pretty excited. Oh yeah, oh yeah, everything got set up. Okay, now now I'm gonna set set the miner up. Um, I like completely just kept the bottom open. So yeah, I might set up a fan and just have airflow flowing in there for now for temporary. Not too sure yet, but we'll see. 
Um, but yeah, let me let me get this uh, all set up and then I'll show you where it will be living. So here's where the PC, this is its home. I had uh, an extra fan. Uh, I kept the back open and yeah, it's just keeping things nice and cooler. And uh, I do have plans to strip this down completely to the motherboard. Um, I will talk more about that when I'm on the tripod. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna show you, it's only about, been about two hours, but I just wanted to show you the pool stats of that R7 5800H. And also, I wanted to show you how nice Viper.net is. Like, I can go here, my worker names, R7, there it is. We click on it, and it gives us a little graph. And it gives us our current one hour average, six hour average, and 24 hour average. And uh, yeah, I think our six hour average here is gonna be a pretty, pretty close to what this will be getting. Um, if you, for the, like the last little, little bit here, it was hovering around 18 and 220. So yeah, um, for $400 worth it, uh, I'll probably tell you in the next clip, but, um, um, it's doing exactly what I thought it was going to do and I am not disappointed and I am not, you know, completely satisfied. You know what I mean? I'm kind of just in the middle. Like this is what I expected and yeah, yeah. But also, and if you're not on ViperNet, fucking join ViperNet. It is literally the best pool the UI is out of this world, so join Viper Pool now. I should be the Viper Pool spokesman because guess what? Guess what? Oh, I'm not on top. No. Oh, right when I'm recording a video, god damn it. Usually I'm on top. <laughs> okay, so uh, on screen, on the mining screen, uh, we're getting 17 mega hash, which I kind of expected. I, I was expecting anywhere from 15 to 20. And yeah, was this worth it? Uh, probably not. Uh, will I ever ROI off this? Probably not. But it is a fun project. I plan on completely removing the case and uh, it's got a like one of those fan blowers, I plan on removing that and thermal gluing a heat sink to it and a fan. And I think that'll be a fun project. So was it worth it to buy a mini PC to mine with? Uh, no, not at all. For $440, I could have gotten tons of phones, to be honest. Like <laughs> I could have got a lot of phones, but it is cool to have a little mini PC that is like smaller than the size of a monster can to mine with. I don't know. There's a mine the way you want. I don't know. <laughs> I personally I'm filled with joy because I think it's, it's cool. And I flashed Hive OS onto an NV, NVMV. I learned something new today. I, I'm going to do more with it. I don't know. I just think, I think it's cool personally. Should you do it? Probably not. But if you want to tinker around with some shit, it's cool. But um, also though, those computers, um, if even if you're not planning to mine with them, uh, they're, they're great computers and they are on a great deal right now. So I will post um, my referral link for these PCs down below because they are going for a great price and you get great performance for what you get. The only downfall is it comes default with Windows 11, which really, really sucks because Windows 11 sucks. But other than that, like it was a rocking PC. Um, uh, I will show either before this clip or after this clip um, after a few hours, my poolside mega hash, and then yeah. So uh, yeah, this was your boy paperclip, and um, all my referral links are down below. They help grow this channel. Um, yeah, and uh, 
Oh, join the Discord. It's highly active. We're all helping each other out there. We, you know, it's a pretty good community. So yeah, um, I will check you later.